Championships in Caprun, Austria, and Simone checks it out. All right, here we are in Caprun at the Downhill Mountain Bike World Championships. There's about 400 contenders here from all over the world competing. We're going to show you what it's all about. We'll talk to the riders, we'll check out the course, and basically find out what mountain biking is all about, it's especially for people like you and me who don't know too much about the sport. Look at this. I mean, this looks more like a Formula One mechanic pitch or something like that. Tell me what has happened to bikes as we know them. The biggest improvement to what we know as a bike is uh, suspension. We do, a, we do get front, front and rear suspension. You have to have disc brakes on the uh, bike. You can't win with normal. Speed is the name of the game and brakes are for carriage or so I'm told. So basically the whole idea is, ooh, is of course to get down his mouth and as fast as you can. And what MTV's done, we set up a thing called the speed trap, which measures exactly how fast the riders are going, and that's up to like 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. I mean, total insaneness. The speeds we can get up to are anything up to 60 miles an hour. In America especially, where they have really fast open courses. Um, here in Europe, it's a little slower, but we still, it's still 45, 50 mile an hour quite often on the straights, which feels fast off-road, believe me. More downhill biking from Austria later. Meanwhile, I'm going to test drive one of those machines myself. It's Wheel of the Week is top downhill rider Rob Warner. Yeah, it helps to be a bit crazy to downhill these days getting faster and faster and the courses are getting gnarlier and gnarlier and, and really this year they've been less and less technical so skills playing less of a part and I think just balls out playing more and more of a part. Power is definitely where it's at, sprinting all the way down, out the corners, down the straights um, and really your upper body is the most important thing this season with the courses being so, so gnarly. You get forearm pump up where your arms actually lock up solid and you can't get hold of the brakes. Just have no strength left at all. And as you can imagine, that's quite nasty. I don't bother with no food diet. I only race for four or five minutes. It's all a load of rubbish what people go on about eating pasta and stuff. You don't realise how unfit I am. This is why I do downhill. Some days you practice and you're like riding like a girl all day long and doing nothing really Brad, and then next day you go out and you think have a proper go here and the rewards are just, you know, it's full on. My mind when I'm racing, if I'm doing well, it's normally blank and sometimes I get to the bottom and I can't actually remember my run, you know, because I'm so focused, nothing matters. Other times I'm going down thinking, oh, my goggles don't fit, my helmet's slopping around and that's when I'm not really nailing it, you know, and then I know I'm having a bad run. A downhill bike these days is really special. We've got five inches of travel front and back. We've got disc brakes on the front and the back. Upright bars make the front very high because we're obviously going downhill. The technology's getting on and on so fast that it's a job to keep up with it, but this is about as far forward as they are. My other hobbies, mainly are motocross and trials. Trials, which I've done all my life, motorcycle trials, and uh, motocross, which I'm just getting into for this winter. An alternative career. Um, I've never had a job, so I think I'd be really struggling, actually. We'll have to worry about that one when I finish this. Fascinating wheel facts with top stars Manic Street Preacher. We do want to know about real injuries. What is the main problem? What, what's, what happens most? The normal things are collarbones, uh, shoulders, knees. I've been really lucky with injuries in mountain biking. I, I've had a lot of really bad crashes, but I haven't broken any bones. Uh, mostly the ankles, because I'm clipped in my pedals. So when I come down, it's usually a bad knock. You break bones, you know, and so, I don't know, it's like it just depends which bone you break, which bone you're ailing about. Most of the riders are cut, knocked about, bruised, you know. Broken bones try to be avoided because they stop you riding, but it just goes with the job, really. 
Have you got any impressive scars? Any like big cuts and things? Oh uh, no, uh, uh, no. So far, no injuries. So knock on wood. Be, you gotta be fit. You know, you're a professional athlete. You gotta be as like top physical condition as best as you can be all the time. So that's the main thing. Biggest problems we have mechanically. Generally, a punctures, which is becoming a thing of the past now with tubeless tyres. Another common thing is maybe your chain popping off. My bike uh, lets me down pretty much every weekend. The worst problem mechanically you can get is a flat tyre. You feel like you've been robbed. You feel like somebody just mugged you when you got off the train because it's like not fair. Rob Warner, you've just 